Welcome to Film Blade. My name is DJ, and in this episode of Film Grasp, we're going to take a look at advanced 16 millimeter film grain compositing techniques in Premiere Pro. Usually, film grain layers are placed on top of the video layers and composited using blend modes available within the editing software. But if you look at any film shot on a 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter film camera, then you'll notice that the film grain only appears within the dark areas of the image. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create a similar composition on digital images within Premiere Pro. Let's get into the tutorial. You can see that we've already imported the footage in our timeline. For this composition, we're going to use a 16mm ultra-fine grain texture from our 16mm Pro 4K bundle. Let's place the grain layer on top of our video layer on the timeline, and let's increase the scale. Let's set the blend mode to hard light. Now, we see that the grain is visible on the bright areas of the image as well, and we want it to only appear on the darker areas of the image. So, what we're going to do now is duplicate our main footage, and we'll place it above our grain layer. Go to the Effects tab. We're going to select the Brightness and Contrast tool, and we'll place it on our duplicated footage. Now, go back to the Effects tab and search for Track Matte Key. Apply Track Matte Key effect on the grain layer. We'll select the video layer on which our duplicate video is placed. Change Composite using Matte Luma, and click on Reverse. This will composite grain in such a manner that it's only visible in dark areas of our footage. To go a step further, we'll increase the contrast in our duplicated layer and pull brightness up a bit. You can see how the bright areas of our footage showcase no grain at all. Now, if you disable just the main footage layer, you can see the actual grain composition. Black areas represent 0% visibility, dark gray areas represent some visibility, and gray areas represent full visibility for our film grain overlays. If you disable our film grain layer, you can see our high contrast duplicated footage. As a final step, let's just decrease the overall film grain visibility. And we're done. That's how you composite film grain on footage shot digitally. If you're serious about leveling up your post-production game, check out our high-end 16mm Pro 4K film grain pack along with other premium assets at filmblade.com. I've attached the links in the description. Also, this video is part of our filmmaker series called Film Grasp, where we throw light on advanced post-production techniques. So subscribe to level up your filmmaking game and follow us on Instagram at filmblade to stay updated.